The user prompt explicitly states, this scene contains no human characters. This falls under rule one. Until a new cycle begins. Faster. Louder. There is a strange precision to it. No waste, only purpose. A life for a life. That is the promise. Each log is a vessel. It carries the forest's memory and its moisture. She's good to go, send her down. The forest is now freight, its soul measured in percentage points, ready for the next separation. Arriving at the factory, each log is weighed and inspected. Into the debarking drum, a giant rotating steel cylinder. Friction peels its skin, keeping the wood within intact. The bark is not discarded. It is a new beginning. Collected, then incinerated becoming steam and energy for the factory. A closed energy system. Nothing is wasted. Clean wood, a blank slate. It begins its journey forward towards the heart of the machine, a promise of transformation. It is sliced, unifort pieces, two centimeters long, half a centimeter thick. Individuality is obliterated. The pieces are then sifted. A violent, shaking judgment. Too big, cast aside. Too small, rejected. Only uniformity proceeds.
pieces are now ready, stored in silence, waiting. was to hold together. Then the world went dark. We were washed. We were screened. The old world was left behind. All that held us rigid, gone. We were becoming clean. Pure. We were washed, but the color remained. The stain of the earth, of our origin. They sought to purify, to bleach away my true color. But does this force change truly equal strength? Raw umber, the mud, the life, all scoured away by the oxygen. Was this purification, or simply destruction? They called it purification, a stripping of self, to make us bright. But does brightness mean strength? To bind together, we first had to break. Our strength was unmade, softened. We were being taught to yield. The refiner tears us apart, breaking every bond until we are raw, vulnerable fibers. We lost ourselves in the water. Just 1% of what we were, a memory, a ghost. But in that near nothingness, we were finally ready to become one. Here, the slurry becomes paper. A transformation begins. Water gives way to form. Pressure forges strength. It squeezes out the weakness. The bonds must be made unbreakable. From 80% water to 50. Then comes the fire. The last of the water must burn. Heat and pressure create the surface. A smooth, dense, new skin. The final polish, the final touch, to make it flat and bright. Ready to hold our words. Ready to carry our ideas. From formless pulp, a purpose. The machine has given it a soul. Now, it waits for a story.
It begins as one, a single entity. Several tons of potential, called apparent real. Its purpose now is to become many, divided, sized for a thousand different needs. Each new role carries a name, a code, a history of its creation. Perfection is the only standard. The machine sees what the eye cannot. For 30 years, the numbers told the story. Clear, simple, true. There was a right way and a wrong way. Nothing in between. Almost. The most useless word. Elara, we got trucks waiting on that batch. What's the word? It begins without a word, a journey of a thousand miles. From a number to a name. This shipment to Jakarta is delayed, reroute through Singapore. Acknowledged, updating the manifest now. It's already on the move.